What's up, guys? Coming here today, we're talking about Overwatch competitive and the issues there is if you're solo queuing for the most part. Now, to start things off, I am a master on console now. Honestly, I think I could go further. I perform decently well in most of my games. I'm actually, on average, like 80% of my games, I'm probably the top performer. And then the rest of those games, you know, I'm on occasion uh, the worst performer, but I'm generally first or second, and second behind a tank or something. Anyways, that's besides the point. Let's just say I do decent in my games, but that's on console, and this uh, gameplay you're watching is on PC, so don't judge me for being bad, because I'm bad with mouse and keyboard at the moment. I do want to get better, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I want to talk about the issue with solo queuing in competitive, because most games I play, like I recently, a couple days ago, over a course of two days, I played like 15 games, which it's a lot, but I was sick, so don't judge me, but uh, I played like 15 games, and 13 of those games, I was the top performer, DPS-wise, this is all DPS, by the way, this is where I'm getting my um, information, and then two, one of those games, I was the, the second um, b best performer, and then one of those games, I kind of just, you know, it was a bad game for me, personally, but, you know, besides that, I performed pretty decent, but the issue is, is my win rate for how well I performed was not, you know, there's no correlation. And the reason was, because those games that I performed, you know, my tank and my healers did not always match my performance, which is annoying. Because now here's the ratings I'm going to say for how I think people perform. And... How I think people perform is uh, not perform. How much people affect the game is one tank affect the games the most. If you have a a good tank, they can pretty much solo carry. Two is healers. Healers are also carry. They can carry the game too. They can keep you alive. If you have bad healers, it doesn't matter if your tank's good. If they can't stay alive, you're gonna lose anyways. And the least effective, uh, effective or I guess they affect the game the least is gonna be. Uh, healers, I mean, sorry, uh, DPS, DPS affect the game the least out of everyone, which is a little sad considering, you know, I performed so, so, so well, but like, you know, those games where I, I, I won, like, let's say, I think eight of the 15 games. So, you know, I was above at like barely above 50%, but you know, I was performing so well. And the reason was because my, you know, I only, I roll with the dice and I have a 50% chance my tank is going to be the worst tank in the game. I also get a 50% chance that we're going to have the worst healer in the game. You know, it's just, it's really bad. And I, so for context, last uh, season, I was master in both DPS and in tank. And for this season, you know, I was, um, you know, demoted, like I think everyone else, where I got demoted down to uh, platinum. But for this game, uh, sorry, for this season, I already got to master for tank in like 20 games. And the reason was is because I didn't lose any games. I more or less diffed their tanks because I could carry as a tank. It was so much easier. And But now, even if I'm diffing the other... Uh, DPS on the other team, it doesn't matter. Because if my tank sucks or my healers just underperform, we're going to lose anyways. Now, that's not saying uh, DPS can't solo carry. Like, I had a recently a really good game where I had, like, 35,000 DPS and, like, 71 kills. It, was, it almost beat my previous record. It was actually a really, it was a really fun game, too, because we, um... Uh, it was very competitive. Our, our our healers were underperforming, but the tank we had, which was my friend actually, luckily, and uh, 
the the healers we had were actually underperforming, like I said. But our tank and me and our other deep our other DPS was kind of eh. But they were, they they performed. That's all. I, that's all I ask. They had like twenty thousand damage. It was fifteen thousand less than me, but it was decent enough. And it, yeah, I completely diffed their their the, everyone else in the game in DPS wise. But we almost lost because our healers. Or it was a close game because of our healers. So, it's it just really show like, um, let me, like, so their healers, our healers, I mean, had 10,000, he like, uh, 12,000 healing, I think, each, which was fine. They actually had the worst healer. Their, their worst healer had 10,000 healing, but they had the best healer who had 20,000 healing by themselves, and they almost carried their team to victory because of that. And I don't know how they would fix, the, um, you know, certain. I, mean, I guess it's not really fixable. If I'm being honest, it's just an issue that's kind of unfixable. Like in Overwatch One, tank didn't affect the game as much because there was two of them, you know. Because one tank could be really good and performant, and the other could be less performant. But then I guess the other two tanks could be mid, and you'd be an evenly matched team, right? Um. But now that's only one tank. If you just have, if you have the worst tank, you're you're probably gonna lose. There, you don't get much of a choice. And you know sometimes you win. Like okay, the times that tank doesn't matter if the tank's worse is if they're within, you know, a little bit of each other. Like a, I don't know. Like their performance is within a thousand damage or you know a couple thousand damage. That's still fine, but when, like, you know, you have 30-40% more damage, more kills, less deaths than their tank, when things start to get really bad. Now, the, the problem is, the quick way to solve this would be, there, well, the quick answer is there's not really a way to solve this. They could, like, a potential solving would be bringing back 6v6, but honestly, I think everyone can agree that I think... 5v5 is actually just the superior it's more fun it's less sh just less shield it's just superior you know tanks aren't so you know unkillable and yeah i think it's it's more fun but i think in a way it's a little less balanced now obviously this is all opinion based you guys are free to have your own opinions and do tell me down below what you guys actually think about this maybe i'm just you know delusional and stupid but uh, yeah, I uh, that's what I think is that it's kind of impossible to fix at least for the moment. I mean, maybe they make healers. I don't know. You could say they can make them. I yeah. See, I don't know. Maybe you can make healers less powerful or even more powerful, so they can match up to to um uh to. Uh, tanks and uh like how viable they are and controlling the game because tanks are the most viable in my in my opinion obviously and then then healers then dps and then if they make healers more important in the game they would also in a way make a dps more important because if a dps kills or picks off a healer then you know Wow, you just changed the whole tie of the game. And obviously, healers are extremely important. And honestly, it might not be a good idea. This might be just how it has to be. But this is just my point of view. And I think it's an issue. Though it's more or less a s unfixable. Unless the game had to take major strides. Maybe they change it to 1 DPS, a 4v4. But that seems kind of stupid, actually. 5v5 seemed better. So yeah, I don't know. That's just, this is just what I'm, just what I see as, you know, the issue with solo queuing and why it's so difficult as a DPS especially, and as healers too. Like if you're healing, like it doesn't matter if you're healing so well. If your tank isn't performing, you're still gonna lose. You know, you just have to have both the tank and the healer, DPS, and last. But they're still important, definitely. Like, if you have unperforming DPS, then, you know, in the long run, you will probably lose the game. But, 
yeah. Anyways, this is just my point of view on this craziness. I probably forgot to say something, but uh, yeah. I just think that tanks are way too important. Maybe they make them weaker. Maybe they make them do d less DPS, but are tankier. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.